for Mr. Jotaro Kujo. A forward. If I said I didn't have any indecision about restoring and deciphering a notebook that Mr. Jotaro incinerated in Egypt, I would without a doubt be lying. I felt that to bring those contents that Mr. Kujo saw as too unsavory to believe in this world back into it was on a level of professional ethics, and perhaps even a more fundamental level, an unforgivable and barbaric act. But at the end of a series of twists and turns, the reason I finally arrived at accepting this request from the Speedwagon Foundation was, of course, not unrelated to said Mr. Kujo's current memory loss and his comatose state. The Speedwagon Foundation's theory that there may be some hint in this notebook that would lead to the restoration of Mr. Kujo was, at the very least, not entirely off base. When I was told that, as someone who owes a great deal to Mr. Kujo, I really wasn't in much of a position to preach about policy, professional ethics, or even common sense. Even if it didn't yield any hints to his restoration, in order to even decipher part of what caused Mr. Kujo to end up in this state, I will overcome innumerable difficulties to restore this notebook. However, if I were to say that that was the only reason I agreed to decipher the notebook, it would also be a lie. Truth be told, the first time I spoke with the Speedwagon Foundation, or in other words, when I first learned that such a notebook existed, I must confess I succumbed to temptation. I felt strongly it was something I should not do, but to an equal degree it was something that I wanted to do. The man who tried to make the world fall into darkness, Dio Brando. No, maybe it would be more appropriate to call him Dio Joestar. Or maybe just Dio is best. At any rate, when learning of the existence of a notebook that a vampire who transcended humanity recorded his goals, there's no researcher alive that wouldn't be excited. If I was to speak, without a fear of being mistaken, I, I guess I would say that I wasn't really doing scholarly work with moral conscience at the forefront of my mind. Mr. Cujo had burned it, and the Speedwagon Foundation treated its existence as a third-class top secret. In other words, to restore and interpret a notebook that was being treated with such total secrecy, I jumped at the challenge. That vampire had such intense charisma, which could lure people into doing evil, and which he did use to entice many subordinates. That man, described as evil incarnate, who left such a large effect even after his death, well, how could I not want to know just what he thought, what he planned, how he lived? Therefore, I really can't make excuses. Nice sounding excuses like for the sake of saving Mr. Cujo or for the sake of world peace are just honestly not that important to me. I feel that if I didn't say it, it just wouldn't be fair to the person who has the right to be the first one to read this notebook. But if I'm talking about fairness, then I should mention that deciphering this notebook was an intensely difficult task. While naturally, turning any fragments of a notebook burned to mostly ash to the point that even Mr. Josuke Higashikata could not restore it completely was, well, difficult enough on its own, but it was highly encoded and unclear. Most of the proper nouns that he called the keys were replaced, and by checking against deciphering results and facts that we currently verified, I did my best to put everything back together. Therefore, I think it's considerably easier to read, but I can't deny it has a sense of nonsensical patchwork, idiosyncrasies, main points, and the way to go to heaven that this emperor of evil was discussing are so profound and difficult to understand that honestly it's hard for a specialist like me to say that I can understand them. Most of them are written in a sort of literal translation, therefore I really have no choice but to leave the true deciphering up to the readers. One could say that my real work has only just begun. Of course I will bear any responsibilities for mistranslations in the document or contradictions that come from them, but I must say I disagree there are any to be found. Please enjoy Dio Brando's diary. <laughs>